Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to go through how to add annotations in AutoCAD. So adding in bits of text with these lines and leaders and points to parts of your drawing with the multi-leader command. So to use the multi-leader command to add annotations to your drawing, it's pretty simple. Basically, right now, I just have it already set up where there is a multi-leader style in this drawing. And so if I either go to the annotate tab and click multi-leader or just type multi-leader, M leader, enter, I can actually choose a point on my drawing, click it, and then choose a point off my drawing where I want my note to start and start typing. your note. And then when you're done, just click off. This is super easy to add notes. And what's the benefit of adding a note with a multi-leader compared to with just text and arrows? Well, I can actually move this note anywhere and everywhere. And this annotation is going to follow or this leader is going to follow it. Um, it really is going to make things easier for you when it comes to kind of organizing your notes and really making sure your drawing is clear and easy to read and understand. Also, in the name, multi-leader, it starts to indicate this idea of you can actually add multiple leaders or multiple kind of arrowheads to this note. So you can actually start to talk about multiple things within one note. For example, if I click on this and click add leader, I can actually go in and click on another object in the space, press enter, and we actually have two leaders that are then connected to this note. And again, they will automatically kind of update and reorient themselves depending on where things get located. So how do you actually create the multi-leader style to make it look exactly how you want? Now, first things first, you want to make sure you're thinking about annotative scale. So this drawing I'm imagining is going to be at 1 8 inch. And so I've gone ahead and added that as the annotation scale down at the bottom. And that means when I use an annotative style, it's going to actually produce the arrowhead and the text at the right size for that type of drawing. So how do we do this? So first things first, you want to make sure you have a text style that's going to work because basically your multi-leader style is going to be based on a text style. So right now you can look up here. This one's just based on a text style I have created saying text notes. And if you need to create a new text style, all you have to do is type style or just click on this little arrow under the annotate and text section. And we can see we have different, um, Kind of text styles happening here. So there's by default an annotative one and a standard one. Because I'm talking about using your annotation scale to make sure you're creating annotations that are going to be a good size for no matter what scale drawing you're having, I would really recommend using an annotative scale or annotative type uh, text style. So for example, what you can do is click on the annotative, which is just a default one, and then click on new and it's actually going to base it off of that annotation style. So we're just going to call this new style. Okay. And from there, this is when we can change things like the font, the font style, and what the paper text height is going to be. So for example, just so we can really make sure we um, kind of see that this one is going to look different. Let's find, let's do, Let's do one of those curio. So it kind of looks like typewriter, um, courier. So it kind of looks like a typewriter. So it'll look really different from this so we can see it. And we're going to set our paper text height to, I'm going to do 330 seconds because that's kind of a common one um, for kind of imperial measurements. But you can certainly kind of play around with the text. Um, actually, maybe let's make it really big. So we're going to make it like a 5 8 So it's going to be a huge thing of text if it was on a printed um, drawing. But that way we can see the difference between what's already there and this new version that we're going to make. So with all of that, I'm going to click apply and close. So nothing's changed and that's okay because now I'm going to actually create a new multi-leader style. So to activate this dialog box, all I have to do is type M leader style or click on this little arrow and we have our multi-leader style. 
Again, what I would recommend is work with something that's annotative. Now, you always have annotative and standard by default in AutoCAD. So what you can do is click on the annotative and then click new and it will borrow those types of um, kind of settings already. So I'm gonna just say new M leader style and continue. Now here is where we can make some adjustments. Now, first things first, if we go to the leader structure, we know that this is annotative. So we are going to have to do some adjustments to some of these other sizes to make sure they're going to look appropriate on a paper size because eight inches on a piece of paper is actually quite big, whereas eight inches in like a whole house is, you know, quite small. So we want to make sure we adjust the sizes of this. So I'm going to do it kind of step by step. First, when we go into the leader format, there's a couple of options. I would leave everything you know, by block, but you can choose if you wanna have straight lines or spline lines, so curvy lines. I'm gonna do curvy lines on this one. And you could also do none if you wanted to, but kind of defeats the purpose in my opinion. So we're gonna do a curvy line here. And before I was using the filled kind of dot for my arrowhead, this time let's do the right angle arrow. And now I wanna set my size. So because this is a drawing that's going to be printed at 1 8 inch scale, I wanna make it a lot smaller than four inches. So I'm gonna actually make it like a quarter of an inch. It's still gonna be quite big, but that way we can see the difference between what's there. Um, but essentially you wanna kind of make sure it's gonna be the size that is going to be an appropriate size for the paper space. The break size, I'm gonna do another, let's do quarter of an inch on that one too. There we go. Leader structure. So here we can actually set maximum leader points. I'm just gonna leave it at two. So especially when you have the straight line format, you wanna kind of maybe control how many little elbows and things like that it has on it. You could also control like the angle of that first line. So if you have that straight line format and you want the angle to always be at a 45, things like that, you can control. Otherwise, I'm gonna leave everything else here kind of as, as it is, because I'm happy with this um, annotative um, scale. And then content, this is when I get to choose that new text style that I've just made. So I'm gonna cl click on my text style and click on new style. We can see that new style is right there and it's really big, we might need to adjust it to make it a little bit better. And then what we can see is a couple of other things. We can see the option, you know, keep it all horizontal, keep it by block. I think all those are fine. But then there's this option of leader connection. Now you can choose horizontal connection or a vertical attachment, all these different things. But the one thing, you know, a lot of these are just going to be preference in terms of where you want things to um, kind of connect to each other. But I would say let's reduce that landing gap for something that makes more sense for a paper space. So in this case, I'm going to do, let's do 120, um, 0.125, which is an eighth of an inch. And there we go. So we've just made it a little bit, um, kind of closer to the text. All right. All of that is fine. We can click okay. And let's do close. And now when we go to our multi-leader tool, we can see this is the active style. So I click on this and let's click on something. What I can do, turn ortho on or off, is actually, you know, here is my note. It's really big. So we can definitely see that this is a very different text style, but we can make some adjustments here. So as you can see, this is a curved line and it has the open arrow, but it still has the benefit of the note being connected to the leader itself. Um, and it's just doing it in a different style. So that's gonna be all controlled within the multi-leader style um, command. So real quick, let's do, let's make this actually what it should have been, which is that 330 seconds, close, and let's go here, modify, and I think all that's fine, there we go, close, and there we go, and it's a little bit more appropriate for this type of drawing, and maybe here we want to add a leader, and all these different things, maybe we want to remove one, remove a leader. So now we just need to select our multi-leader and then select the one we want to remove and it will remove. 
So that's a really quick overview of how to add annotations in AutoCAD using the multi-leader um, command, including setting up a text style to be used in the multi-leader style and then setting up your multi-leader style. Hope that helps. If you liked that video, check these out and click to subscribe where you'll be the first to see new videos I release every Monday. Thanks for watching.